Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by Big4AccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. In today's podcast, I wanted to talk about a couple of items related to PwC India. First up, I wanted to talk about a YouTube comment that we received about the PwC SDC in India. And PwC SD India is also known as the India Acceleration Center. And it's a rapidly growing organization and PwC's network of acceleration centers focused on delivering exceptional value to our clients across the world. That's what PwC says through a highly qualified talent pool and global global delivery model. But what the person on a uh, comment on YouTube said is that PwC is not able to control attrition. And there's a lot of people have, there's been a mass exit of employees in PwC. And he says that there's, the firm is hiring new associates who have little to no experience and very few seniors are left. And PwC is not going to have a competitive edge because they are not going to have smart people left. And he also says that the salary hikes or the salary pay raises in India were not that good. And that's one of the reasons why people are leaving. Uh, And this kind of goes against what I'm going to speak about later, but I can't really confirm all of this uh, as far as the attrition rate, but I, I kind of wanted to use this as a way to talk about the the use of India as a delivery center, not only for PwC, but the big four accounting firms in general, because from what I know and from my experience, PwC's SDC centers are, are different than the other big four accounting firms. And it all has to do with their approach and their leadership. Because a big four accounting firms copy each other and they copy other large corporations. And that's why they did this outsourcing, because what they thought they would do is what thought, what everybody thought they would do is they could just charge their clients the same price and then just outsource it all to India and that their clients wouldn't figure it out. And then they can just increase their margins and that maybe worked for a couple of years, but clients figured it out because clients are doing it themselves, of course. And a lot of clients don't let you outsource depending on who they are. And if, if they do let you outsource, you have to let them know that they do it and you can't necessarily gross those, their rates up to the client. You can't really pass that on. Or I should say you can't always pass that on. Some of the times you can, but I think PwC, they went a different route. They went more the technology route uh, where they want to use technology more than they want to use the India centers. And so they invested a lot more time and money in technology, in the tools that they use, Altrix, Tableau, et cetera, and getting people in the U.S. trained up on that, people around the globe. And so when you do use these SDCs at PwC, they're not, they're not as, as good as they could be. A lot of times you have to take a lot more time training them, teaching them the basics, getting them used to your client, getting them used to the technical areas of your client. Where other places like at ENY, I think, I mean, ENY's pricing is a lot lower. And so I think they've utilized India a lot more and their, their, their India teams are a lot more experienced and are similar to, to an associate or senior associate in the U S and sometimes they're, they're much, much better than the, the associates in the U S and, and I think that it shows too in the staffing and the in the people that work there. So and I think it's two different approaches. And I think this person, why I think this person might be correct. And, and I can't, I haven't confirmed it yet, but it's because the, there's, there are different approaches to India. PwC is more like they'll use India where they can, and they definitely force people to use India, but they're not, they haven't built their business model around it necessarily. So they don't have, they don't have the, the talented people, as many talented people as other firms might have who spent time and in integrated into their business model. You have to believe in the business model and 
you have to grow the people over there and you have to keep them as well. You can't let them go like this person is saying. But before we move on, I wanted to take a break to talk to you about Voomer. This episode is brought to you by Voomer. Voomer helps you ace the interview at the big four accounting firms, as we spoke in yesterday's podcast. And it helps helps you ace your big four interview by practicing on que- questions typically asked in the interview. And if you use the promo code BIG4, B-I-G, and the number four, listeners get 10% off their purchase. Alternatively, you could use the link in the show notes, tryvoomer.com slash BIG4, B-I-G, and the number four, and just check the show notes for that link. And so the, the next piece of PwC India that I wanted to talk about was news that PwC India is going to hire 10,000 additional people in India. And, and this is part of the new equation. But I think this part of PwC India is more related to work that goes on inside of, of India. And so there, PwC India is going to spend money as part of PwC's new equation. We spoke about this before. You can check out that that previous podcast on our YouTube channel. And so PwC India is going to spend more money to hire more people. And also they're going to spend at least 1% of their revenues upskilling people and partners. So in one area of PwC India in the SDCs, you're losing a lot of people and maybe you're not spending that much money or time there. But in another area of PwC India, they're going to be investing a lot of money to create 10,000 jobs over the next five years as part of the new equation. I think the opportunities in India for PwC are probably working on clients within the country versus on these SDCs. Uh, And I think whether you're in India or, I mean, if you're in India, you should probably, and you want to work at the SDC, you want to work on more US focused clients or, or Europe focused clients or somewhere else you want to work in the SDC. But if you're going to work in, in, and a delivery center in India, you might want to look at a different big four accounting firm based on my knowledge and what this person says. But also if you're, if you want to work at PwC, then you probably want to work within India in as part of this new equation. So those are the items that I wanted to discuss today. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast to get future updates and also subscribe to our YouTube channel, big four accounting firms. And thanks for listening.